module looks at fusing machines, fusing and interlining. Fusing and interlinings are needed for the manufacturer to maintain consistent quality as against hand operations, save time and labor, enable easy handling of small components, reduce differential shrinkage between top cloth and interlining to controllable levels, stitch, pucker and distort sewn products, create garments with a cleaner and fresher appearance. Fusing and interlining is needed for the wearer to increase durability of garments, modify slightly by the interlining the handle of the cloth, retain the garments original shape after repeated dry cleaning and washing, reduce crease recovery time. This is AG FA1100 machine. The working width of 1100 mm. This is by the brand name as Aura. We are going in front of the panel, which you can see the panel display. Uh, the panel shows you the PID, that is the temperature for, uh, controller for the top. From the bottom, that is for the lower belt, that is for the upper belt. We have a regulator, which tells you from 1 to 10 what is the speed. We have voltmeter, ampere meter, we have on, that's the main off, the green one, and then this is the machine off, main off switch, upper heater, lower heater on, and then the pneumatic pressure. We have a pneumatic pressure which can go up to 9 bars. So in this we can show you that the working area, as you can see the working area is 700 mm in this machine, and the total, uh, the working length, and the working total width is approximately 1100 mm. This is AGFA 1100 machine. And as you see these people feeding top fuse, that's an HDP, they're feeding top fuse. And this, as you see the, yeah, okay. The feed top fuse, there are three people at one time, uh, you, uh, the, the machine can be used by three people. One can be on the left, one can be on the right, and the other one can be on the center, as you can see. These three people can pull because this machine, the power total consumption on this machine is approximately 20 kilowatt three-phase and the pneumatic uh, connection we require is two HP meters. This is the cleaning uh, cleaning system to clean the machine. At the time of service you can clean it and then you need a belt cleaning uh, liquid to clean the belt. Now when you feed it like this, it goes, it goes to the heating zone. There's a very long heating zone. This is known as the low temperature high pressure transfer. And because it is not, now as you see it is coming out and we have a cooling system here, this is air cooling. And we also have a refrigeration cooling in this. These models are available and as you can see, it's trying to peel off and you see it is more than 70 newtons. And you see, just a minute, you see. You see double interlining, we fuse the double interlining in that at one time. And see on both these, you have the micro dot exactly on the fabric as well as on the interlining, which is perfectly all right. So we have actually done it in 175, 170 degrees at the pressure of 5 bars, but do interlining with perfect result. This is basically recommended for top fuse, more recommended for jackets and for high productivity, whatever it is. This is a total automatic machine where the belt cleaning, where the belt uh, leaning system is automatic from both sides, dramatically controlled with a maximum pressure of 9 bar, with a temperature of 200 degrees, fully automatically controlled. All type of interlinings like fuse, uh, like jacket interlining, like non-woven, woven, everything uh, like woven fusibles, non-woven fusibles, everything is possible in this machine. But we have to uh, uh, again increase the, we have to again change the size of, uh, uh, change the temperature and change the pressure time. Yes, and there is one very important thing which we would like to tell you. As you see here, this is a PID system where we can set. In this we can set the belt temperature, the heating temperature, the glue line temperature, the and the heater temperature, all three temperatures set at one time. That means you can have whatever your buyer recommends. If your buyer recommends uh, heater temperature, you can set heater temperature. If your buyer recommends belt temperature, they can set belt temperature. If your buyer recommends uh, blue line temperature, blue line is a temperature inside the interlining and the fabric. That can be also set simultaneously. 
the upper and the lower both. This is the perfect and the right technology for temperature controller which is known as a PI. And this is the pressure as you can see we have just kept a pressure of 3.5 and you could get such, such a good result. This can go up till 9 bars, 9 bar pressure. That means 9 kg per centimeter square means 4 interlining at one time having no problem. And we have a regular I will again show you the machine. Again, AG FA1100. We also have AG FA1600. This, this is a fully automatic machine for fusion. Thank you. Double pressure roller refrigeration system where instead of two silicon rollers we have got four rollers, four pressure rollers which is basically recommended for top fuse and for even jackets. A top fuse means if you see here there are two regulators instead of one. This is also available in uh, AG FA1100 uh, and also available in AG FA1600. Uh, you see two regulators, there are two pressure rollers, one in the and both on the extreme ends which can give you the maximum pressure of 9 into 2 that's 18 we have again the same system that's main on off and the upper heater and the lower heater on off you see voltmeter and pair meter the time that's fusing time that's known as the regulation speed of the uh, speed of the bed and then we have again a uh, PID system in this again a PID which I said where you can simultaneously, simultaneously set bell temperature, heater temperature as well as blue line temperature this is AG 700 DRR Right. Okay, we will show you the function. The function is we have an inspection table here. It's basically for the shirt. So we have a stripe. We, we can check. Inspection table is required to check the stripe, to check the uh, checks when you are putting the interlining. It should be in the exact position. As the person is doing here right now, he's checking the stripes, he's putting it inside. Puts it inside, we, the machine goes. Again, we have a very big heating area. Uh, because the heating area is more, because again, it's the technology where low temperature, high pressure is required. Uh, this is the refrigeration system, the refrigeration channel. Generally, if you see, we have set the machine on minus 20 degrees and the temperature right now is 1.7 degrees. It's minus 50. The concept is from 150 degrees, from minus 30 degrees when the interlining comes, there's a crystal formation in the interlining and the warp and the depth of the interlining uh, opens and it gives you a softer effect than the normal, uh, you know, the normal uh, thing. Like, for example, if you are fusing and interlining generally with a normal uh, a normal machine it gives you a ha harder effect because you're putting two interlinings on the fabric because interlining works as a bone to the fabric but in this it acts like a bone to the fabric with a softer a smoother effect so it gives you the, like people who are who's putting a shirt like if you talk about big brands when you put their shirt you don't feel un uncomfortable because the collar is soft and when you put generally other brands where the collar is a little hard you feel and you don't want to wear it the basic technology is this fusing machine which gives you from 150 degrees to minus 30 degrees there's a crystal formation and the fabric goes out and it gives you the extremely cooling and excellent field strength as you see how the interlining is coming the interlining comes from the heating zone goes to the cooling chamber and once it is in the cooling chamber it comes out and it is totally cooled and it drops down it is dropping down this is the full system on this as i would again repeat i would again repeat about this machine performance how the person is feeding this is the electrical panel a person feeds checks the inspection from the inspection table checks matches the stripes on the check puts it inside goes inside to the heating chamber there's a long heating chamber goes to the heating chamber this is the latest technology where the ch chamber is little less chamber is longer and the temperature is less so the, the shrinkage on the fabric is not there goes to the minus 30 degrees temperature and comes out if you see the peel strength in this if you see the peel strength in this on two interlinings it is perfect it's perfect because it's given almost 18, 9, 9 bar, 9 kg per centimeter square, 1. So you see the interlining is 
getting worn off, but it's not coming out. Just see that. This is the perfect machine. The perfect machine for shirts. For double, three times, three interlinings at one time, we'll have no problems in this. However, interlinings can also serve many other purposes including stabilize garment sections, reinforce sections which may be weakened by subsequent operations, maintain the shape of parts such as collars and lapels, prevent seam impressions, stiffen the garment or fabric, strengthen the garment or fabric, mask the transparency of fabric with shear characteristics, provide additional warmth for example, quilting. Interlinings can be categorized as woven, non-woven, knitted. All these types can be obtained in either fusible or non-fusible form. Interlining consists of the base fabric or substrate onto which the thermoplastic resin is coated, sprayed or printed. Base cloth can be produced by variety of woven, knitted and non-woven materials. Woven. The main advantage of woven is that they can be cut on exactly the same grain as the pieces to which they will be applied. This is considered by many well worth the extra cost incurred by the lay wastage. Canvases of linen, wool and hair are often used for a softly tailored finish as they reshape in pressing, non-woven. Some of these can be cut multi-directionally and are therefore very economical. They are also very resilient, have good crease recovery and excellent shape retention. For these reasons, they have replaced to some extent the traditional canvases particularly in ladies wear, but also in some men's wear. The main advantage of non-woven is their low resistance to abrasion. Knitted. Knitted interlinings were developed specifically for use with knitted fabrics, so that the fabric stretch characteristics can be maintained as well as controlled. However, their drapeability has made them an attractive alternate to woven and non-woven on some outerwear garments. Resins There are several types of resins. The choice of resin is restricted by the limits imposed by the outer fabric, fusing equipment to be used, end use requirements and the precise behavior of resins in response to heat. These are the requirements of resins. A. Upper limit fusing temperature should not be higher than 175 degrees Celsius, so that it does not cause damage to the top fabric or its color. B. Lower limit fusing temperature. Lower limit temperature is suitable because too low temperature may lead to inadequate bonding to withstand handling of fused garments. Lower limit of 110 degree Celsius is required. Leather and suede may require further lower temperature. C. Thermoplasticity. Thermoplasticity of resin must be such that change of temperature 
combined with correct pressure is efficient for resin to penetrate the top cloth and form an efficient bond. It should not cause strike through effect. The adhesive seeps through the right side of the fabric causing sticky patches which collect dust etc. through the top cloth. Sometimes the adhesive seeps through the back of the interlining through the base cloth. Usually the cause of strike back and strike through is the application of too much heat and pressure. D. Cleanability. The resin should withstand washing and or dry cleaning throughout the life of the garment. E. Handle. The resin should give the desired handle. F. Color. In normal end uses, resin must be white or transparent unless there are specific color requirements. Should have low dye retention properties. G. Safety. Must be harmless in processing and end use. Different types of resins are polyethylene, polypropylene, polyamides, polyesters, polyvinyl chloride, plasticide, polyvinyl acetate. Different methods of application. Resins can be applied through different methods such as scatter coating, dry dot printing, paste coating, preformed, extrusion, laminating, hot melt coating and emulsion coating. We will now learn about each of these. In scatter coating, scattering heads are used to provide an even scatter under automatic control. After scattering, the resin enters an oven, softens and is pressed against the base cloth. This is then cooled. This is the cheapest method. It does not give uniform or not as flexible as printed coatings. In dry dot printing, powdered resins fill engraved holes on a roller. Base cloth passes over a heated roller and then against the engraved roller. Powdered resin adheres to the cloth in the form of dots. Oven heating ensures permanent adhesion. Patterns of dots can vary from 3 to 12 per centimeter. Generally, lightweight fabrics require interlinings with smaller dots in higher concentration, while heavyweight fabrics require larger dot in lower concentration to allow good penetration. In paste coating, fine resin powders are blended with water and other agents to form a smooth paste and are printed onto the base cloth. Heat removes the water and dots cool into solid resin. This gives precise shaped dots and is used on interlinings in shirt collars. In the preformed method, a preformed net is laminated to a base cloth to form precise dot patterns when using heat and pressure. It is widely used for top collars of a shirt. In the extrusion laminating method, thin films of molten polyethylene are laminated directly from an extruder onto the interlining base fabric. This gives a stiff product. Hot melt coating produces continuous plasticized polyvinyl coatings on interlinings for leather goods. In emulsion coating, the base cloth is dipped into the emulsion. Excess resin is squeezed out by passing the base cloth 
through rollers and drying in oven produces double sided coating. Characteristics of top cloth. When you are going to choose a top cloth, you have to ask yourself these questions. Will it withstand fusing conditions? Durability of the fused products. Does the top cloth have open structure that will allow strike through which is not desired? Does the top cloth have a pattern or surface that could damage with the pressure during fusing? B. Selection of woven, knitted or non-woven fusible. Different parts of garment may require different types of fusible. Woven interlinings can be used where strength, stability and good draping qualities are required. The disadvantage is that it is costly. Knitted interlinings have the base cloth which provide elasticity. They have a natural handle which provides good resiliency. They are used in women's lightweight clothing such as blouses, dresses made with crepe, georget and polyester fiber yarns. Since knitting is also faster, they are cheaper. Non-oven fusibles are cheaper, largely used for industrial purposes. C. Selection as per resin type and coating method. This depending on whether garment is washed or dry cleaned, interlining should be compatible. D. Type and quality of fusing equipment. Whether equipment uses steam heat or dry heat. Steam heat used during fusing process should be at temperature higher than the heat used for steam pressing to avoid delamination. Dry heat done at the right temperature will not affect the laminated fabric during further steam pressing. It may cause a temporary change in color of top cloth which returns later. E. Cost. The cost must be evaluated and balanced against factors such as desired performance of fusible, compatibility to equipment, technical services provided by supplier. Methods of fusing. There are five methods of fusing. They are single fusing, reverse fusing, sandwich fusing, double fusing and top fusing. In single fusing, the fusible is on top of the cloth. In reverse fusing, the fusible is below and the top cloth is on top. In sandwich fusing, two components are fused in one operation. In double fusing, two fusibles, example fusing the front and the chest piece fusible to the front part of the jacket or coat. In top fusing, fusible components positioned on top cloth and heat is applied directly to top cloth. The main components of fusing are temperature, time, pressure and cooling. The temperature should be high enough to change dry thermoplastic resin into partially molten state in order to flow. Too low temperature gives poor flow and adhesion. Too high temperature gives strike back or strike through. Heat shock. When entering fusing zone, the fusible is subjected to high temperature. Sudden change harms fabrics such as viscose. May make the fabric brittle and even change texture. Glue line temperature. This is the minimum threshold range required for melting the glue. Temperature existing at the interface of outer fabric and interlining. Time. Equipment should be given enough time to allow temperature and pressure to induce melting of the resin. Pressure. Ensures controlled and even penetration of the resin. Cooling. Cooling ensures a consolidated bond or the fused assemblies. Enforced cooling 
ensures higher levels of productivity than if fused assemblies are left to cool naturally. Optimum results can be achieved by accurate and continual control of the four processing components. The properly fused fabric part with fusible will look as displayed. When the temperature, pressure or time is lower than required, the cross section will look as displayed. When the temperature, pressure or time is higher than the required, then the cross section will look as displayed. Fusing equipment. Fusing process can be executed by these machine categories. Specialized fusing presses, hand irons, steam presses. Under specialized fusing presses, we have flatbed fusing press, continuous fusing press, high frequency fusing press. A flatbed fusing press is a static method whereby the assembly is fed or positioned onto the bottom plate and the head or the top plate is closed over it. It consists of two horizontal metal platens. The top platen is unpadded, but the bottom one has resilient cover of silicone rubber. Heat provided by electrical elements can be on top or both platens. Pressure is applied mechanically or hydraulically. Flatbed fusing machines are further categorized as vertical action closer and scissor action closer. Vertical action machine is considered more preferable due to its ability to put uniform pressure throughout. The flatbed fusing machine is a simple version less complex and easy to operate. It is small in size and is relatively low cost allows it to be used by small clothing manufacturers. Reduces fabric shrinkage since the fabric is held under pressure throughout the fusing cycle. Continuous fusing machines. This type of machine has an endless conveyor system for transporting the assemblies successfully through the heating, pressure and cooling stages. In this system, the garment is passed through a heat source simultaneously or subsequently applying pressure. This is the side of the fusing machine where the temperature controls and the time settings through adjusting the voltage are available. This is the woven fusible. Now we are placing the woven fusible onto the top of the top collar part. We have placed the assembly onto the feeding section. We are feeding the collar and the fusible into the fusing zone. The fused collar now will be delivered out of the fusing zone from these rollers onto this conveyor bed. The heating systems generally used for continuous fusing process are heating plates. These consist of two heating surfaces positioned apart with one above the conveyor belt and one below the conveyor belt. Both have separate temperature control profile. Cylinder heating. The cylinder consists of two parts. The inner cylinder, a stationary assembly in which the heating elements are mounted and the outer cylinder which rotates around the inner cylinder. This principle ensures that the heat generated by the inner core is evenly distributed all over the cylinder mantle. Pressure mechanism. 
pressure is applied continuously and evenly throughout the entire process once fed into the machine, but that pressure is just sufficient to only hold the fabric and fusing together and to prevent slipping. Actual pressure is applied at the outlet point where drums put heavy pressure on just heated fusible piece. Time mechanism. Fusing time depends on the speed of the conveyor belt. The faster the belt runs, the shorter the time. All machines have a belt speed controller which can be adjusted to get various dwell times in the heated zone. High frequency fusion press is used for multiple layers of fabric and interlining. The alternating waves from a high frequency generator are absorbed by material which generate friction heat between the molecules and thus distribute resin uniformly. Here the maximum height of the fabric can go up to 70 millimeter and the unit might have 30 kilowatts power consumption with an operating time of 1 to 3 minutes taking a load of 5 to 20 kilograms. Hand irons are used only for interlinings that can be fused at relatively low temperatures, low pressure and short times. It can be useful only for positioning a fusible temporarily before it is pressed by a steaming press. Steaming press. Steam applied from the head of a press is used to achieve high temperature which melts the fusing glue. The press head applies pressure and the lower part of the press of the back helps in cooling. Once the fusing action has taken place, major application of this machine is in fusible shoulder pads in men's jackets. Now you have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit you have learnt about spreading surfaces and spreading machines. You have also been given an overview of common cutting machines such as straight knife cutting machine, the round knife cutting machine, the band knife cutting machine, the end cutter, notcher, driller and reviewed the practice of cutting a lay using common cutting machines. Thank you.